Hello everyone, and welcome to this Unity tutorial where we are going to learn how to create variable jump height inside of your game in Unity. Right here, you can see that I have a sample scene set up with a player and some ground objects. All of these ground objects are right here, and each of these ground objects have the layer ground on them. The player game object has a ground check circle, a box collider, rigid body 2D, and the player controller script. This player controller script is this script right here that you may recognize from my how to create 2D movement inside of Unity video. If you have not watched that video, I would recommend you go do that so you know what all of this code means. Right now, we're going to stay right inside of this script to do our code. Right here is where we're checking to see if we're jumping or not. So if we are, if we are pushing the key space and we're on the ground, we can jump, which is good. But what I want to check is that if right after I jump, I let go of the space key, I want to bring the player down faster so he doesn't have to jump all the way up at the first jump. So what I'm going to do is right after here, create another if statement, and this is going to be if input dot get key up instead of get key down, and then key code dot space or whatever you chose for your button. And then in here, instead of checking and is grounded, we're going to check and our rigidbody2d.velocity.y is greater than zero. Our rigidbody.velocity.y is our velocity on the y-axis. If, if it is greater than zero, that means we are traveling up. If it is less than zero, that means we're traveling down. And if it is zero, that means we're not moving up or down at all. We're just staying still. Right here, if we let go of our space key, I'm going to greatly reduce our velocity on the y-axis. So we're going to get a reference to our rigidbody 2 velocity, and we're going to set this equal to a new vector 2, just like we did inside of our jump code right here. And this vector 2, the first thing we're going to do is a rigidbody 2 dvelocityx because we do not want to change the velocity of our x value when we're just jumping higher or lower. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our rigidbody 2 dvelocityy and you would think that this just keeps the velocity the same, and it does. But since we want to greatly reduce our velocity on the y-axis, we're going to take this number and multiply it by something like 0.3f. If you want to make it to something lower, you can do 0.1 or 2, but if you want to make it something higher, you can do like 0.5 or 0.7. But that is all the code we need, so we can go back inside the Unity Editor. Once we are back inside of the Unity Editor, there is nothing we need to do to our script to make it work, so we can just push the play button. Once we have entered play mode, you will get a something like this with your little player and your scene set up right here inside of mine. I can move around with the arrow keys, and then I can jump with the space key. You can see that if I hold jump, I jump all the way up to there, but if I let go of jump right, right after I push it, I fall back down. If I hold it a little bit, I can jump all the way, jump to the middle, jump low, and you can see here that this just makes our jump feel so much smoother inside of Unity, because now we can jump and we can go to these little ledges right here. We don't have to jump all the way. We could just do a little jump and get right over the, le the little ledges just so that we can do things like that. It makes your platforming experience inside of your game much more clean. And when people are playing your game, that's what they want to feel. They want to feel a clean, nice game, not a game that the movement isn't very snappy and such. With that, that is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please give our channel a like and a subscribe because it really helps out. Thank you.